Okay, let us talk about question number 43 now. For a from set of real numbers where a is not equal to minus 1, limit n approaching to infinity 1 to the power a plus 2 to the power a plus and so on up to n to the power a whole divided by n plus 1 to the power a minus 1 multiplied with n a plus 1 plus n a plus 2 plus and so on up to n a plus n is equal to 1 by 60. Then a is equal to 4 options are given I have to find the value of a right. So, we can easily start this question as limit n approaching to infinity numerator is summation r to the power a where r is from 1 to a divided by denominator we have n plus 1 raised to the power a minus 1 multiplied with summation n a plus r r equals 1 to n again this is equal to 1 by 60 correct we can take n common from this bracket we can take n to the power a minus 1 common from this bracket and put it into the numerator so that we get the term changing to limit n approaching to infinity summation r by n to the power a r equals 1 to n divided by 1 plus 1 by n to the power a minus 1 summation of a plus r by n where r is from 1 to n is equal to 1 by 60 correct now it can be changed to the integral what kind of integral we can get we get simply summation x to the power a 0 to 1 divided by this will become 1 integral 0 to 1 a plus x dx is equal to 1 by 60. Now, it is quite easy to simplify this one x to the power a plus 1 upon a plus 1 is numerator. Similarly, a x plus x square by 2 is denominator. Apply the limit 0 to 1, cross multiply and simplify. That will give you quadratic equation in terms of a as on solving 2a square plus 3a minus 119 is equal to 0. How we will be getting this equation? Simply 1 upon a plus 1 is here in numerator and denominator is simply a plus 1 by 2. Correct. Simplifying, we get the quadratic as 2a square plus 3a minus 119 equals 0. 119 suggests me into 2 as 17 minus 14. Simplify, you get the values for a as 7 or minus 17 by 2. So, the correct answers for the given question are B and D. Let us go to next question that is question number 44. Circles touching x axis at a distance 3 units from origin and having intercept of length 2 root 7 on y axis circle which is touching x axis at a distance of 3 units from origin it can be on the right side or can be on the left side we can draw any one let us say I am drawing a circle in this manner here is the center of this circle x axis y axis origin it is touching at a distance of 3 units on positive side this point is 3 comma 0 so the x coordinate of center will be simply 3 i have to consider now the y coordinate of the center this intercept is 2 root 7 when i draw the perpendicular i see this is 3 this length is simply root 7 so the radius part comes out as root 9 plus 7 that is 4 radius is 4 means this length is also 4 so the center becomes 3 comma 4 you can have 4 circles 3 comma 4 3 comma minus 4 minus 3 comma 4 minus 3 comma minus 4 from the given options we observe that the possibility goes to option a and option c or we can direct write the equation of circles as x minus 3 whole square plus y plus minus 4 whole square 
is equal to 16 because from the options it is clear that with x the positive 3 is there coordinate of the center so i have simply taken x minus 3 in place of taking x plus minus 3 otherwise those were also the possible options simplifying we get x square plus y square minus 6x plus minus 8y 16 will be cancelled out plus 9 is equal to 0 as the required equations of the circles x square plus y square minus 6x plus 8y plus 9 equals 0 that is option A is correct x square plus y square minus 6x minus 8y plus 9 equals 0 that is option C is correct so correct answers are A and C correct let us go to the next question question number 45 Okay, now the turn for question number 45. Let omega be the complex cube root of unity with omega not equal to 1 and P equals Pij matrix B n by n. Correct. Pij is equal to omega raised to the power i plus j so that we can construct the matrix P. Then P square not equal to 0 when n equals 57, 55, 58, 56, these are the four options given. When we try to construct the matrix P, we observe it comes like omega raised to the power i plus j means first cell will give you omega square, right? Next, 1 plus 2 that goes simply omega cube that is 1, then 1 plus 3 omega 4 that is omega then 1 plus 4 that is omega 5 means omega square things would be repeated now onwards in the similar manner we can write here 1 omega and so on so all the elements can easily be written in this format this is n by n matrix when i talk about p square means i will multiply this matrix by itself that is omega square 1 omega and so on 1 omega and so on we can leave these entries free when we multiply these two the product will give me answer in the form of omega 4 plus 1 plus omega square plus and so on things would be repeated omega 4 plus 1 plus omega square and so on in the first cell similarly in the second cell and so on onwards we obtain the result all entries would be of the similar type correct now the question says p square is not equal to 0 1 plus omega square plus omega will become 0 if we obtain in the multiple of 3 these entries means this determinant will end up with 0 if we see that the number of entries it is 3 by 3 if the matrix is of order 3 by 3 result will be 0 if the matrix is of the order 6 by 6 result will be 0 means if the order n is a multiple of 3 it will become 0 so the correct answers would be b c d n is not a multiple of 3 so that it is non zero correct let us move to question number 46 the function fx is equal to 2 mod x plus mod x plus 2 minus mod of mod x plus 2 minus 2 mod x has a local minimum or a local maximum at x equals 4 options are given we can rewrite the given function fx by breaking at its critical points at breaking its points wherever we observe modulus is going to become 0 so that we can rewrite the entire function and based on that we can draw the graph of it fx equals when we look at it we observe minus 2 is one possible point where i need to break it when x is less than minus 2 when x is less than minus 2 i observe this is simply minus 2x minus x minus 2 
minus of modulus entire thing and so on in this manner we can simplify this gives me minus 2x minus 4 when x is less than minus 2 next interval which appears at this stage is 0 when I plant I observe when x is greater than minus 2 this is x plus 2 plus 2x means 2x plus 3 term is there so I need to break it also at minus 2 by 3 so let's go for the next interval minus 2 to minus 2 by 3 when I take it in this interval I observe the function comes out as 2x plus 4 next interval now till 0 when we take minus 2 by 3 to 0 it is minus 4x we can simplify simply break at the mod point keep on writing you will get the function simplified next when x is between 0 and 2 it is 4x and the last when x is greater than or equal to 2 it is 2x plus 4 now we can draw this function fx let's trace it x axis y axis and origin points minus 2 let's say this is minus 1 and this is minus 2 correct next point it goes as at minus 2 by 3 then 0 is there then point 2 is there that's all I can see when I take the curve for the interval less than minus 2 I can trace it simply by saying x is 0 y is minus 4 when we say y is 0 x is minus 2 it will go in this manner for the next 2x plus 4 it will go like this for next interval it is minus 4x next it is plus 4x till point 2 then it goes like this correct we can redraw it in this manner here it is moving in this manner correct this next interval was between 0 and 2 so we observe that function is having points of non differentiability at four points the question is about minima and maxima function is having minima at minus 2 and 0 while maxima at minus 2 by 3 correct so from the given options we see a is correct as the point of local minima b is correct as the point of local maxima so the correct answers are a and b fine so let's move to the next question that is question number 47